Today I'll be showing you how to make a mild six second drag car using the gravel bar stow. Don't know what engine we're going to use yet. Transmission is probably going to be a two speed power glide with a 1.76 first gear ratio and a probably a 1.0 second gear ratio with a final drive output of 2 or 2.1 and we're starting with the basics of this vehicle it is your stock Gavril Barstow go back over to the drag track where we will start the build I have built quite a few configurations and the fastest I have gone in a quarter is 5.42 at about 255 miles an hour using the big block uh, mod with the lowered willy bar. Let's reset the car here. Now let's get started. First thing I want to do is go to the drive shaft and we're going to change that out to a modded drive shaft which is the ADP reinforced drag drive shaft out of the Rusty's American Drag Pack mod. It may come up as an outdated mod but it still works on my end and it allows the car to hook straight off the line instead of twisting and pulling to the left or the right. From there we'll change out the rear suspension and go to a four link. Four link is a coilover setup. which is used on most drag cars. I'm going to switch that to race rear coilovers. That way we could stiffen up the suspension, give a little bit of a stiffer rebound for our launches. Next, I'm going to change that to a race lock differential. Lock differential is where both wheels will spin together, pretty much like a posi track rear end. Rear final drive, we'll change that to a race adjustable final drive. Now we go to front subframe. Let's just switch the motor out now. We're going to use the 489 Venom. It's got pretty good low end torque through a mid range torque and can build great horsepower and as a good sound leave a stock for now let's switch over to our two-speed drag transmission which I consider just a power glide actual power glide gear ratios first gear is 1.76 and second gear is 1.0 already set up We'll leave a 3.08 final drive at the moment. Stiffen up the rear springs, bring up that rebound a little bit. Won't need it at this moment, but it leads us in. Let that load for a second, and I'll pull up to the line and make a test hit. And you may notice at the top of the screen, I have three distance timers. I have the 60 foot as box one, box two is the eighth mile, and box three is the quarter mile. Get up those tires a little bit. Oh, yeah. We're launching at 2405 RPMs. And let's see. Very slow off the start. 2.23 on the 60 foot. Rounding out the eighth at 932. And the quarter mile will give us 14.48. Brakes are a bit touchy. I am using the Logitech G920 wheel with shifter. You may notice that this is an automatic transmission, but I do go through the gears myself. If you ever have a transmission that seems like it just doesn't want to switch, 
Grab your shifter, throw it in neutral, put it back in the drive. We'll come up the return road. Almost power slid that around. Alrighty. Let's start making this a race car. So I use quite a few mods. Um, for this one, I will be using CJD's uh, tuner pack for my torque converter. Uh, the anti lag system turbo ALS. Let that load up. All right, let's change the engine management. We're gonna go to CD, CJD, excuse me, CJD Race ECU. This allows the two-step to enable, which comes in handy for the launches. Not only the trans brake, which puts the reverse and first gear in a real transmission together to lock them in place for your launch. By using the CJD two-step control, you could, I'll give you a show of this. Regular two-step gives me a launch at 2,819 RPMs. Let's say that was too much. We'll turn on the two-step in the top right corner is my messages. We'll turn that down to 23. Now, if you hold the brake and the gas while having the two-step enabled, it only allows it to go up to 2300, let off the brake, and now your trans brake is at 2300, and then you can control it and go up. All right, there's a tip there. All right. All right, let's go back to the motor. Change the exist uh, long block we're using a hypersport long broke block which is another mod for the hypersport barstow all right we have some turbo we have some boost we have engine management ecu we have hypersport long block and a dual exhaust let's change that over to Let's go CJD race performance exhaust. We got a CJD torque converter. Rear suspension. Yep, we're all straight there. Front suspension. Now let's leave those stock front coil springs and we'll change out the front shocks, the race front shocks. Give it a stiffer bump so if the car manages to pull the wheels off the ground it won't slam back down as hard um, take off the electronic stability and traction control option while it is good it isn't good in drag racing because when you launch off the line you do want a little bit of tire slip that way you can propel forward and also it doesn't Cut the engine off, slow you down, and hold you back. You want to keep those 60 foot times pretty low. I like to go 1.1s to 1.4s, and that is usually done by suspension tweaks. Now, let's change the rear rims and tires. Let's go to um, Alder Dragger. We're going to start with some 15 by 12s. Not too wide of a tire but still enough to get some power to the ground. Oh, that was the wrong one. Let's switch the fronts. We're gonna do the fronts 15 by fours. Now we'll do the rears. Fifteen by twelves. Next, we'll put line lock, front wheel line lock. What that does is a brake proportion valve. So when you enable front wheel line lock, 
it will only use the brakes on the front wheels and by doing that you have to hold the brake pedal down press whatever button you have selected for wheel line lock release the brake and now just the front brakes are locked and the back tire should spin freely as you can see when ready to pull forward to the line let off the line lock go to the line trans brakes on foots on the brake now I have my launch control set at 2600 let's go up to 33 well it's only locking me in at 3000 let's see looks like our temperature is creeping up on us let's make it through the quarter we didn't overheat, we ran 1.769 in the 60, 663 in the 8th, and a 1010 in the quarter. Let's bring that back. Uh, let's go in and change the torque converter session. Torque converter, converter diameter, the size of your torque converter. If you can't get up on the RPMs and trans brake, bring the torque converter diameter down. A couple of notches, that's it. Only one to four in that range, up or down if needed. That's all really neat on there. All right. Um, we're actually going to turn up the wastegate pressure. Let's go to a nice 25 pounds. All right. Apply that. And then we're going to go switch the radiator out to something that's going to let temperature be a little bit more cooler. And that's inside a front subframe radiator support. And let's go with the drag performance radiator for now. See how that one handles. Ready, line lock. Torque converter is much looser now. Too far up. Bring her back. Right on the line. So this is one of the things. 52, 5100. This is where you use your two step brake and gas. Don't forget to turn on your anti-lag. Launch at 4,000. Here we go. 130, 60. 5, 6 in the eighth. And 873 in the quarter. Now you will see it's very easy to create power. The hardest is putting it down. We'll do a run outside the car. See, we get those wheels off the ground for sure. Or not. As you can tell, the car is holding fairly well right now. Let's turn her up some more. See, we get it to the point of needing willy bars. Go up to 40 pounds. Do a higher launch. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
132 in the 60, 523 in the eighth, and 809 in the quarter. We are seeing results. Do one outside of the car for you. Let's see how impressive the Willie looks. I said at the beginning of the video, we try to go mid sixes. Only got a second and a half left to cut off that time. So, let's see what we can do. Let's throw a lowered Willy bar on there in the big block mod that is available on the official BeamNG website. One twenty six on the sixty foot, five nineteen on the eighth, and another eight oh nine. So we increased the short track of the car. Now let's see if we can improve the back end by adding nitrous. Once again, CJD is used in this application. We have adjustable bottle size and adjustable nitrous shot size. The added power. We'll start around 170 on the added power in second gear. So as soon as we click into second gear, we're going to enable nitrous and see if that can get us on the back end without losing any traction. Rolling burn out there. There we improved our eighth mile time and we improved our quarter mile time by going a flat eight seconds. And the brakes are really warm and did not want to stop on that one. All right, so at this point, this is how I would work it. I'll take the final drive ratio, we'll bring that down. Wastegate pressure, we could build that back, well, build it up to 50, add an extra 10 pounds of boost there. And torque converter size, we're adding more power. Let's run a torque converter back to a 0.3 meter. Nice roll and burnout, a little sideways there. Right up on the line. And watch. We're at 7.5. And I just noticed we never turned the nitrous on for this pass or the last pass. So that was all off of boost. Let's do it again. This time we'll spray nitrous. Not that well of a burnout. I did slip up there. Get up to the line. Get on that rev limiter. And we're hooking. There goes nitrous. So we're moving now. 483 in the eighth and 743 in the quarter. Not too much of an improvement there, but our 60 foot was looking nice. 1.190. I need to learn how to hit the brakes. Right, let's actually just change the brakes.
rear first, get rid of these drums, and let's go rear race. This disc pack is from the Barstow Interceptor mod, I believe. Has a lot of different options, a whole lot. And I believe that's where the 489 Venom engine is at also. Tap the rev limiter. Oh, the brakes are working good now. This time I use nitrous directly off the line. 739 and a quarter. And it still doesn't want to stop. We're going to get into the sixes. 73 pounds of boost. Are we going to blow the motor? Uh, an over torque? Are we going to be able to make it to the eighth before it blows? Will it pass the quarter and trap in over 200 miles an hour? Let's find out. Here we go, we're all nitrous on. Oh, oh, nope, the engine's blowing, and we did 196 at 716 in the left lane. So I believe my toe is off. I'm going to attempt this pass again and see if this is an alignment issue or a traction issue. I believe that was a traction issue because it is hooking straight. 710. 710 in the quarter, 460 in the eighth with a 122 60 foot. We need to change and add indestructible engine block which is another mod and is available through additional modifications this here should stop our over torque issue nice and warm to the groove and we're off Hard time getting in there now. So, let's add some more nitrous. Well, 415. in-car type of guy I like showing the outside but I like being like I'm in the game and we're launching with nitrous spinning out of the hole with one two two six nine four sixty nine in the eighth and seven seven twenty one in the quarter and I have no brakes nice barrel roll Lost the back wheel, landing on its roof. And we're just going to park this one underneath the bleachers. I call that a good spot. Alright, since we're spinning off the line, we're going to drop our two-step down to 4,000. See how it's... See how good it hooks now. Oops. 
It will look much better. Fastest pass on all three boxes. And blew a tire. All right. So again, to the six is about adding anything else. Let's tweak suspension. Let's bring the spring wear, spring rate a bit higher. Let's lower the rear end slightly. And let's see what the difference is. Spun off the line again. Got an over rev. And we trapped 197 at 719. We're 466 eighth and 123 60 foot. Well, let's take a shot and let's go with a wider rear tire. Go from 15 by 12 to 15 by 14. Rip all drag slick. It rolled out much better, but did not get us into the sixes as we have hoped. Try it again. I don't think I was on the nitrous fast enough getting off the line there. It spun horribly again. Well, we did trap 200 miles an hour that time, it looked like. Well, let's give it a run for our money. Let's get in a challenger. Let's see, we'll go against another build of mine that is a low six second car. The 5.5 Pro Mod. We'll do a Pro Tree. Now I keep having a glitch in the game when the car loads from here. Make sure to turn their nitrous on. And it goes into the right lane, rather the left lane. I see he's gonna to work today and go to the right lane. All right. Not sure. Well, I guess I just blew that one all the way up. So, let's try this again. Staged. See if I get on my trans brake fast enough. So seven twenty five at two oh one, and he did an eight oh eight at one sixty nine. So let's add front springs and see if that helps. 
If not, then I think we're just going to be stuck in the very, very, very low sevens. Yep, I think that is it. We are stuck inside of the low sevens. I need to work on the brake situation on this car. And hope for the best. So we're going to save this configuration as something that will be recognizable to myself because I have a whole lot. Let's go. First. Tuber build. Fastest was 7.029. Thank you for watching, and you have a wonderful day.